This conference will now be recorded. Let the server come up in the background. Let in the meantime, I will explain about multi node environment. See, so here node means you just try to uh, imagine node is a server, means my machine. My machine is one node, your machine is another node. So each laptop where you have installed, that is one node. One node is equal to one server. See, let me tell you a business issue. Suppose you take an example Flipkart application or Amazon application. You take it. it's up to you. Flipkart is something similar to Amazon application. So Flipkart application you take. See, okay, let's go ahead with Amazon application. So you have Amazon application. So in the Amazon application, let's say, uh, for instance, per minute, per minute, on an average, we have ten thousand users. Ten thousand users per minute every minute on an average the load on amazon server is application server is 10000 users let's say amazon has announced a big sale so it has announced a big sale from 12 pm to 3 pm so between during this time of 12 pm to 3 pm the load on the server per minute on an average is it going to be same 10000 or it can increase it will increase it will be increased so what could be the possible number if you can give me how many times greater than this could be more two three zero six added okay it can be hundred times or thousand times thousand times greater than what i have written above means drastic increase in number of users means the load on the server is drastically increased means before 10,000 connections are there to the server but now 10,000 into 1000 these many connections are there per minute on average see the load on the server is getting increased as a result of this what happens the huge load is there on the server server may get crash this happens sometimes sometimes with online uh, shopping mall websites online shopping websites sometimes it will happen okay see to avoid this issue to maintain the load balancing so your application will not be only deployed on one single server instead it will be deployed on multiple servers so means amazon will have i'm not going to talk about clear technical aspects about how the nodes will get added at run, runtime dynamically i'm not going to talk about amazon web services here i'm just talking about only multi-node environment that is instead of deploying your application installing your application on one server you set up 100 servers and install your application same application on server one server two server three hundred servers are there these hundred servers in general together you call it as a cluster but you need not to worry more about this terminology of cluster and all. 100 servers there, application is running. See, when user types the URL in the browser, the request will go from user browser to one intermediate server that is referred as web server. And this is for the purpose of load balancing. Load balancing server. So it will not directly go to the actual Amazon application server. Instead, intermediate it will go to load balancing server. Load balancing server decides to redirect to one of the application server. Suppose you have one lakh users, 10 servers are there. So 10,000 users on server one, 10,000 users will be routed to server two. Remaining 10,000 will go to server three, server four and so on. So now at a given point of time, on an average, 
what is the load on the server can you please tell me now when you have multi node environment as per the example which i have told you 10 servers 1 lakh users during the amazon big sale day so how, how many users per server still it is 10000 users per server so is it easy to maintain the load or not so like this it will be easy so like this multi node environment will be set up will get set up in your enterprise application development it one of the advantages for the purpose of load balancing at runtime okay to maintain the equal distributed number of less number of users on each server so that application will be fast faster end users they will not come to know whether they are on server one or server two they do not feel like multi node environments and all okay but as a business setup we have multi node environment this is called multi node environment everyone clear with this concept of multi node environment yes sir yes yes yeah. so now coming back to data page of node level data page which is node scope node scope data page means data page will be available for sharing across multiple requesters who are on the same node meaning that suppose 10 users are there on node 1 10 users are there on node 2 10 users are there on node 2 node 3 now data page which is created on node 1 will be available for sharing to all the requesters who are there on node 1 but not with the requesters of node 2 this is clear everyone this point everyone clear so from the diagram what you see that. here node level data page how many data pages gets created node level ultimately one one how many data pages gets created here from the diagram ultimately when you have users on all the nodes three ultimately three gets created same data data page here will be available here will be available here will be available only three instead of multiple n number so now data page which is there on node 1 will be available for sharing only to the users of node 1 but not with the users of node 2 everyone clear with this concept now yes yes okay this is what node scope of data page node scope of data page will be available for sharing across multiple requesters who log on to the same node this conference will now be recorded this this theory concept i'm going to record okay look at here now see just consider just imagine you have two rules rule 1 rule 2 so on rule 2 you have parameters defined okay let me show you practically i'll show you we have activity side right? where are those activities we created parent and child activity remember okay two activities i am taking just to explain you this concept see here child activity has two parameters defined three param first name last name full name and parent activity has two parameter no parameters defined so here also you can see if i am using call let's say this is just for our better understanding i am using call see while calling the child activity in the last class we have passed parameter values instead of that same option what i have shown you there is also available pass current parameter page suppose if you select this option pass current parameter page you see additional parameter supplied below will be ignored this will be ignored it will not have any impact at all means you are passing parameter page from one rule to another rule this time what are you doing instead of passing values you are passing entire parameter page from one rule to another rule okay for this what you have to do okay let me tell you see the parameters which you have defined on child rule 
must also have to be on parent rule, not by number, by name. Look at here. Here I'm defining a parameter called first name, last name. Is the names matching with the parameters of child activity? Is it matching or not matching? Just tell me. No. It is not matching. Let's see this. So I wanted to pass the parameters now from this rule to other rule. Look at here, add a new step. Properties set, I'm doing. So here I'm setting the parameters. Param.fn is equal to Harsha. Param.ln is equal to something. Okay, like this I have given. And now I'm calling child activity. I'm choosing pass current parameter. This will be ignored. We are passing the entire page, parameter page. Can you tell me what are the parameters available on parameter page of parent activity? What are the parameters FN available on parameter page of parent activity? FN and LN. Entire page I'm sending from rule one to parent rule to child rule by selecting the option of pass current parameter page. Okay, let me go ahead and test it. Run this. Trace it. We can see parameters on the tracer. I am not giving any values here because I have done property set here. Trace this. Run this. So what are the values of Fn and Ln? Can you tell me Fn and Ln values? Harsha and Pekka. Harsha and Pekka, right? So here you can see at the parent activity, Parameter page unnamed. It has FNLN Harsha Pega. Now close this. At the child activity, you see we have done a property set where we have child activity parameters we have passed. You have FNLN. Do you have full name here? Any value no. for full name? Go to child activity. In the child activity, we have done full name is equal to param dot first name plus last name. But param dot first name plus last name do not have any values. That's why on the tracer you see full name is blank. See, I have sent a parameter page from parent activity into child activity. So child activity has some parameters, but the child activity and parent activity parameters here are not matching. So when you are passing the parameters, from parameter page from one rule to another rule to make sure the values of the parameters also being given there to the child rule, the parameters on both rules should be matching by its name and type. If not matching, then it won't work. So let me make a change here. That is, in the parent activity, I will define parameters which are similar to child activity. I'm defining now. Let me show you. This is last name. So the parameters are not by number, by name. Look at here. The parameters of on parent activity and child activity are now matching. I have made some changes. Look at here. This time, let's execute and test it. Save this. Action run and then go through the tracer and then run this. So this time let's see. So parent activity parameter page with two parameters. What are those? First name and last name. These are the values. Same parameters are also available with child activity. When you pass the parameter page to child activity, you see now you got the full name. See, when you, are when you want to pass the parameter page from one rule to another rule, make sure both rules have matching parameters defined. Then only your passing page will have impact, else it will not have any impact. Everyone clear with this point? Uh, yeah. What did you understand out of all this what discussion? Uh, when we are passing parameters from one page to another. One, uh, when we are parameter, passing parameter page from one rule to another one rule. One rule to another. The mm. parameter names should be similar. Yes, that is what the only point which we need to understand. 
So advantage we can see later when we are passing parameter page from one rule to let's say rule one to rule two and so on n number of levels the parameters on both rules must be matching by name and type okay number no matter number can be different. okay so let's make change let's let's populate cities by passing parameter page instead of values okay now as per the discussion that we have you tell me what are the changes that i have to make in the existing design i wanted to make the change only at one place okay at any one of the place just explain me which rule i have to make changes and where I have to change with respect to parameters. What are the changes that I have to do? So now the same data page. Cities, yeah, please go ahead. And open data page. Data page. Okay. Let me open data page. page. Give me one minute. Let me open data page. Get cities. So now what should be done? We should have the same name uh, in data page and. Uh, change the param name matching with report, report definition, definition param, right okay let's go ahead and do that check out this parameters and report definition what is the parameter what is the parameter for report definition you can open the report definition rule and see that okay after this is done what else we have to do? Click on parameters at report here. At report, you click on parameters. Then what should be done? Remove that parameter value and select pass run param page so we are going to do that remove this if you don't remove you will get error message that's why i have removed it done completed so now previous to this time the change is passing parameter page instead of value 